What the is up, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Beers and on today's microbrew, we're drinking who farted. Um, yeah, we think it's who farted. We is, think it's is who it, farted. Is it just like a? It's not an anagram. No, I think it's just a, a funny way like of a funny saying, way to say who farted. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, which I'm about. So this is our second who farted. It is overall. Uh, we talked. What do we have? Um, don't put ketchup on a hot dog. Or yes. Is that what it was? I think so, yeah. Hot dog without ketchup? Yeah. They or have ketchup some... with uh, hot dog, hot dog with ketchup? They have some weird, weird names. Love them. Okay. So this one, another oh Hoofarted Brew. Sorry, sorry. I'm very, very uh, if anxious with the feet. If you're just joining us, if anything, this is our, uh, this is one of our microbrew episodes. Yes. So here we're just really going to be talking about the beer, a little chit chat. Just a it... shorty. Yeah. Just a shorty. Essentially, Clean. this is the shotgun version oh. of... Beer's end. You know I love a good shotgun. I know you do. <laughs> you know, I know you well, do. One of these days, I'm going to do a shotgun on air, I think. Okay. We're going to make sure we do that at your place. Okay. Yeah, um, oh, definitely. I won't, don't worry. I don't spill. That's true. I don't spill. If, uh, if you want to see our faces and who and doesn't. And the beer. And the beer, of course. Uh, check us out on YouTube at Beer's End Podcast. And make sure you follow us uh, on Instagram and TikTok, also at Beer's End Podcast. And if you haven't clicked that subscribe button to uh, to make sure you get all of our newest episodes. Tap what in. What's the matter with you? Tap in, baby. Okay, Tap so this, this is a collab between Hoof Hearted and Dissolver yes. out of Asheville, North Carolina. Um, don't know too much about them. So I can tell you about them if you'd like oh, real I would quick. love you too. So uh, according to their About page, uh, it's our forever quest to bring you the most surreal offerings we can craft, highlighting the best and greatest of both old school and new school brews. Oh, I love that. That means lagers, IPAs, clear and hazy, wild ales, big old stouty stouts, Super st- uh, sessions and everything in between. That's what they're going for over at Dissolver. I love that. Right. So I just noticed on the uh, on the bottom of this, this says brewed and canned by Hoof Hearted Brewing. Okay. Um, and then it says Marengo, Ohio, dabbling in the dank and dark arts. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I, I love like that. a good dab. Love a little wordplay. Love a little dabble. Yeah. Um. So this this can. I'm it's getting hilarious. like um, I'm getting it puts the lotion on its skin vibes. Very much so. It looks it. like if you were uh, like uh, uh, kidnapped by like a, a Mexican cartel. Like, yeah, that's what would happen to you. Who's got a thing for hairy chests and cowboy boots? Yeah, yeah, and a big, um, you know, it, it looks like an orange, but that doesn't I think make it any looks like a sense. grapefruit. There are neither of those things in here. Okay, so that makes uh, little to no sense. All right, um, but anyway, this is a not. We don't have many of these. A sour IPA. Okay. So Ooh. a blend of the two things that we do a lot uh, with raspberry, lime zest, vanilla, Tahitian vanilla, Ooh. and milk sugar. Um, ooh, this says drink fresh at 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. This is a 6%, uh, one pint. We know that. Canned on 6.6. You know what? I'm not worried about it. That's not too long ago. No, not at all. And um, yeah, hoof hearted. I'm excited for Let's this get into one. It. Let's get into it. So I don't have any questions for you. No, but uh, I've got a little something for you, perhaps, if anything. So we are recording today in, on August the 17th, and today happens to be the day that George Orwell's Animal Farm was first published oh. in 1945. Okay, so I never actually read that book. I didn't have to as part of oh, it's my curriculum in high school. It's one of my school. favorite, favorite it's like a, books. It's like a Marxist um it's a it's a like crit- play right yeah it's a critique on um like communist russia um and and basically how you know um there's there's no such thing as like a utopia by any means um some groups are always going to want a little bit more in fact one of my favorite lines from the book is the pigs uh they looked from the man to the pigs and the pigs to the man and it became increasingly difficult to tell who was who um yeah. Oh, well, that's a strong line. Yeah. It's this whole underlying thing of like, you know, all animals are created equal, but some animals are more equal than others is the like mantra. Yeah, I get will. that. Okay. So what I've got here, and this is provided uh, from the uh, the fine folks over at Morning Brew. They're my uh, morning financial. Oh, uh, I used to, I used to um, get my little newsletter from them. I love them. Yeah, I don't anymore. I love them. I never read them. Oh, I read them all the time. Every morning. Clogging up my, my mail feed. <laughs> So what they've got here is, uh, let's test your knowledge of other books you should have read in school, but decided to spark notes instead. So we've got a couple different questions here and we can get into them as we, as we kind of go through the, uh, through the beer, if you'd like. Just so you know, I've never spark noted at anything. Uh, the only one I ever did, in fact, I got my dad to go out and buy me the spark notes. Uh, it was for the Grapes of Wrath and I had called him when I was, um, 
working at the pool club and I said to him, I just read 13 pages on a turtle crossing the road. I can't do this. Yeah, I heard that was not a great book. Uh, I to mean, be honest. It, it's got a lot of great commentary, but like, whew, yeah, it's a rough one. Okay. It's a rough one. Stick with The Mice and Men or The Pearl. I'm just not going to read. Okay. That's my preferred. There we go. Shall we start off with a little bit of this uh, fine libation first? Oh, yeah. Look at this color. I love the color here. I mean, you could tell that that was made with raspberries. I was going to say, it's got a really nice very ruby red yeah. color. I hope it's got a little bit of that tartness. You know, it, looks, it actually looks like it could be grapefruit, but we know it's not. It could be. It does. It smells like it's got some of that tartness in there, too. I think that's the lime. I'm hoping Zest, so. Um, Man, you, I get a big hit of raspberry like right off the bat. Oh, right there. This, I, I was ahead. hoping, and we'll see when we go for a taste. I was hoping for a little bit more carbonation okay. right off the bat. Okay. But let's see. Cheers. Don't microwave it. Boil it. Ooh. Nice and tart. Right in the front, though. And it, yeah. It segues and goes away to a really nice, mm -hmm. clean sweetness. You know, I would have never guessed there was milk sugar in here. No, not at all. And usually we can taste that. Yeah, we can spot that out. it's very, very little. I don't know. I mean, and I think that's what's giving... I think that's cutting some of the, the tartness. Definitely. At the end Even there. the vanilla, too. There's. I don't think there's that much... Or at least not as much vanilla as I was expecting. No, it's at the very, very end. Yeah. I'm very, curious. Very and I, I've said this to you before um, in reference to a 450 North beer. But I wonder if, same way on a nutrition label, do they label the ingredients in the beer in order of quantity? I mean, I would assume so. Right? I would assume so, yeah. Milk yeah. sugar's always last. Probably. Always. As it should be. Yeah. I think. This, this isn't bad. Actually, I wonder... Um, it's almost more of a cider, I think, than a, than a beer. What you said before, I wonder if it'd be better if it was more carbonated. Yeah. I, I would like, like I a I would little, little bit more fizz coming through here. Yeah, I think so, too. But it's really nice in terms of the, of the, the, the sour IP. Although it's not terribly hoppy. You know, maybe that's what it is. Is that I'm, I forgot that it was a sour IPA. Mm. It tastes more like a sour. Mm -hmm. And I'm not even getting, I don't even see any of the the hops that it was brewed with. I'm going to look and see if I can find it on the website. I'm thinking it's probably like a, a, a centennial, if anything. Something real kind of. Let's see if they have it. Let's see. Oh, they don't. Okay. So they have less information on the hoof-hearted oh, website, on the website than, than they, they do, do on Untapped Because it doesn't even say what fruit is in here. Oh. It doesn't say what citrus zest. Interesting. And it doesn't even tell me that it's Tahitian vanilla. Oh. I'm actually really disappointed in their in their description of their own beer. Sometimes less is more. Yeah. I'm just speculating I here. I guess. But it, you know what's funny, though, is that... It's very enjoyable. It's the same, the rating, and... And the average rating as the untapped page. Oh, I wonder if it's a if it's a direct like feed. Maybe they like link it in. Yeah, to, probably. To show. Interesting, huh? I I like this though quite a bit. I think I'm a little higher on the on the beer than the untapped. What is the untapped? Four point one. I would say I'm probably right around there. Four point one, four point two. Again, I think it it to me it's falling more in a hard cider realm. Yeah. Rather than an IPA or a sour. an IPA or a sour, yeah, and I don't know, I don't know, I don't know yeah. if it, maybe there's too much raspberry, perhaps compared to some of the milk sugar or some of the hops that are supposed to be coming through. You know, I don't know. Maybe it's not cold enough. It could be that as well. I don't think that this is at forty six. No, because that's that's usually not as cold as you'd want to drink. Right. Like normally you want fifty five. Right. Yeah, which I would say that this is probably closer to. 55, 60. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think so too. I like it. I'm going to give it um, like a 4.19, 4.22. Okay. I think is where I'm sitting. You know what? Because now that I'm like, I keep forgetting that it's a sour IPA. Yeah. And I'm not getting the IPA and like, hear me no, out. neither like, am I. Normally I don't like, we've talked about the sour IPAs, they're like not balanced. Right. And this is in balance, but in a more pleasant way. Yeah, and again, I think it's they're they're really conscious of the fruit. Yeah, which is good. And again, it doesn't taste like it's a it's an artificial flavoring. Like it no, no, seems no, no. like it's very very much a natural, very natural fruit raspberry flavor. I, I, I like, like it. I like the lime zest in there because it kind of breaks up the. I love raspberry lime. The ra yeah, too, oh, also. Yeah. It's like a lime ricky. Exactly. exactly. Except the better lime ricky. Better lime ricky. Right. Yeah. Raspberry over cherry. I feel like I'm right around the same as you. I think I'm about a four two. I feel good about we've been, that. Yeah. We've been mind melding. Let me tell you, because the, 
we've been having some really solid yeah. solid choices yeah, uh, recently, recently. Yeah, recently, definitely. So you want to go through this quick list and we'll oh, for see sure. uh, who read what and when? For sure. Don't microwave it. Uh, what novel is set in the year... 8 million... Two thousand seven hundred and one. So eighty twenty seven oh one. Eighty twenty seven oh one. I have no idea. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, I do. Ender's Game. I, th- I, I'm gonna go with you on that. Yeah, yeah, that's my guess. I think it might be Ender's Game as well. Um, who wrote The Giver? Oh, son of I a know, god! I, can, I actually I love picture, that. Book. I can picture the front of the book, but I cannot. I think. can't, but I know the story. Oh man. Ooh, I don't know, but I, but I do love that book. That's a good one. The following line, or the following is the first sentence of which book? In my younger and more vulnerable days, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. I feel like it's, um, it's the one about the bird. Or the bird in the title. Oh, you think about To Kill a Mockingbird? Yes. Okay. I was going to go Death of a Salesman. Okay. I never read that, so. Okay. I don't know if I'm right or wrong on that okay. one. Okay. How many more we got? Uh, two more. Okay. Okay. I wish there were more. I know. This is a good one. This I is like a, yeah, this, this stuff. Yeah, this is cool. Uh, what are the first names of the two main characters in Of Mice and Men? Oof. That's another one I didn't read. No? No. This one I know. Jerry and... Ooh, you're... Wow. Okay. Was that... Y- you're... Close? Yeah, for either one, actually. I say Tom and Jerry, honestly. No, but we know these two names from Looney Tunes cartoons as well. Daffy. Mm. No. Lenny and George. Oh, okay, no. I Which way that. did he go, George? Which way did he go? Oh, okay. That's supposed and to who's be. Lenny? Well, Lenny is supposed to be, obviously, the, the, the big doofy guy. Shut up, Muggsy. No. Oh. Yeah. Well, so it's Lenny and George. Okay. That much I know. And the last question here is, which of the following is not the name of a Bronte sister? So this is, I believe, uh, Little Women. So uh, Louise, Charlotte, Emily, or Anne? Emily. Okay. And I thought it might have been Anne. Okay. Okay. So ready? Yeah. All right. So here are the answers. How Hopefully you've Have you been playing How along? How did you guys do? Tell us. Let's see. So number one. Oh, so number one was actually The Time Machine by H.G. Oh, Wells. Okay. Uh, number two, which was Who Wrote the Giver? Yeah. Lois Lowry. Uh, I would have never got that. The number three, In My Younger and More Vulnerable Days, My Father Gave Me Some Advice That I've Been Turning Over in My Mind Ever Since, The Great Gatsby. Number four. That I did read, so that's why that, that was familiar. I should have known that. Uh, number four, what are the two, uh, the name, uh, the names of the two main characters from Of My Cement? You got it. And George. And number three was actually Louise. Oh, shoot. I know that it was written by Louisa May Alcott, but uh, maybe that's why oh. I got a little thrown off there. I love it when, uh, authors or like, uh, show writer yeah. uses either their name or like, oh, so uh, do I. a crew member's name. In the uh, in the production, so much, so much. Those were cool. Yeah, right. Yeah, those are good ones. You know what I just realized? Hmm. That is a raspberry lime, not a grapefruit. It's a raspberry lime. Oh my god! Look at that. That's what that is. Oh, you cheeky bastards over yep, at that Hufarty. was uh, that. They have almost got it past us. Well done. Yeah, you almost got it past us. Not today, Hufarty. Got to wake up. I might have been born at night, but it wasn't last night. It wasn't last night. Yeah. Oh, over here, over there. You sound like a mouthy cop to me once when I was a teenager. <laughs> You know, I was born the night, but not last night. I never wanted Fuck to be. Off. I never wanted to be a cop, but I want the. Uh, I want the, the jargon and the ability to just like, fuck off, cop. Might, you know, like might I recommend becoming an educator? <laughs> nah, now, nah, pass. Just pass. kidding. I don't. It's do already that. one of those in the family. There you go. We, have, yeah. we don't need any more. Make sure, oh. folks, that you join us for our for our next yeah, uh, yeah. episode. Uh, maybe it's a microbrew coming up next. I don't know. Maybe it's a full length episode. I don't know. I but can tell you what it won't be. It won't be boring. It won't be boring. Not with that voice. Tell your friends. Listen to how rich that voice sounds. Tell your friends. Ooh, 
I now we just that, uh, that one got a little just creepy. I don't to, know what uh, happened there. I'm what's sorry. What's your name from Meriden High School? Mrs. Uh, used to do the morning announcements. I did the morning announcements. No, 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 no. No. Someone else then. Oh. You did do the morning announcements. I, I was going to say. Maybe it wasn't high school. Maybe it was. Uh, oh, Mrs. Win- Mrs. Win- Win- oh, Mrs. Winches. Mrs. Winches. Yes. 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 We, we made it there. Yeah, we got there. We got there. If you're listening, Mrs. Winches. Thanks for the memories. <laughs> Fallout boy. Goodbye. See ya.